When you're documenting or analyzing a language, you have to analyze the vowels. For this part of the tutorial, we will open a file called sp stressed vowels mail mono dot wave. To open this file, we will click open and read from file. Once you click on the file, it should appear in the objects window. Click view and edit to load the file into the sound window. Once we load the file into the sound window, we see the waveform in the spectrogram. As you already learned, a format represents several prominent bands of frequency that is measured in hertz. These black bands are what determine the phonetic quality of the vowel. Unlike consonants, vowels have energy at many frequencies. The frequencies at which these black bands occur are different in the A vowel than they are in the A vowel. By measuring vowel formants, specifically formant 1 and formant 2, or commonly known as F1 and F2, we can pinpoint approximately where the vowel is produced in the mouth. Next, we will select the word piso and will locate the first vowel. There are two common ways for measuring vowel formants in PROT. One way is to click on one of the formants, and PROT draws a horizontal red line at the location of the cursor and marks the frequency. You can do this for F1 and for F2, and then write down the frequencies that PROT displays. Another way is to turn on the formant tracker in PROT and have the program measure the formants for you. First, we will have to press Formant and then Show Formants. When we show the formants, we see a series of red dotted lines that appear in the spectrogram. These red lines are produced by the formant tracker, which estimates the value of the first few formants or vocal track resonances of the sound file. Now highlight a portion of the vowel that you want to measure. Go to Formant, Get First Formant. A window pops up with a value of F1. This is much more accurate than the previous method. You can take a shortcut by clicking the F1 button on your keyboard and you'll get the first formant value. Also, you can click the F2 button on your keyboard and get the value of the second formant. When measuring formants, you'll want to pick a time that's close to the center of the vowel. Avoid selecting the very beginning or the very end of the vowel, since the formant frequencies there will be heavily influenced by the neighboring consonant. For vowels that are likely to be diphthongs, especially A, O, and U, you want to measure the starting point of the diphthong, not the ending point. Choose a spot closer to the beginning of the vowel, but not so close that the preceding consonant will interfere. Now that we've learned about measuring formants, we're ready to get some practice measuring vowel formants in Spanish.